To access your McGraw-Hill eBook from within the student side of Alex, you're first going to navigate into the student menu in the upper left-hand corner. On the student menu, you'll find the link that says eBook, and when you click on the eBook link, it will automatically open the eBook in a new window. This is so that you can view your Alex course as well as your eBook at the same time. It will always default to bringing you to the page that you last left off on, but up in the upper left-hand corner, you can view the table of contents and jump to a particular chapter or even a section within that chapter. When you find the section that you're looking for, you can utilize the links at the top to jump to the different objectives, or as you scroll down, you might notice some lecture or exercise videos linked within your book. If you're wanting to make any highlights in here, you can hover over the different words and drag and drop across them and you'll see the annotation tool appear. You can highlight, underline, box, circle. You can even add a place marking or your own set of notes to go along with this selected text. You can also have that selected text read aloud to you using this tool here. Once you've made your highlighting or your annotations, you will be able to see up in the table of contents menu up here where you can jump to those highlights that you've created, or you can even jump and go to the notes you created or the place markings. If you're looking for a page number rather than a section, you can always type in the page number using the search bar, or you can even search a keyword and all the pages with that keyword will appear. You can also increase and decrease the font size as you're reading to make it the best experience possible. Instead of opening the overall ebook link, we also offer the ebook link from within the questions in Alex themselves. So whether you're working on a module or you're working on a non-adaptive assignment that your instructor has allowed the ebook for, you'll see the ebook link over down the right hand side on the resources. On this ebook link, you'll see the particular chapter and section that this question was pulled from to make it really easy for you to jump right to that section of the textbook instead of trying to navigate around and find it. 